Welcome to our next video. We're talking about Markowitz Portfolio Theory. And Markowitz Portfolio Theory consists of different things to calculate. First, expected returns. Second, variances and standard deviations. Third, covariance. And fourth, correlation coefficient or correlation. And that's what we're talking about in this video. We need to be talking about correlation. Correlation is defined as follows. Covariance divided by the product of two different standard deviations. If we look at two different shares, so the correlation coefficient equals the covariance between those two shares divided by the product of those of the standard deviations of both shares. We looked at this example. Example A, or we have two different shares, share A with 1, 2 and 6 percent, three different situations, say first month, second month and third month. We have 1 percent, 2 percent and 6 percent with share A. We have 2, 4, 6 percent with share B. So we need to compute expected value of A and B, of A and B and we need to calculate, we need to look at the standard deviations. And we already did this in different videos and we calculated 2.646 with um, as the standard deviation of share A and 2% as the standard deviation of share B. So, and we already calculated the covariance. The covariance was plus 5. And as I already said, as the covariance is computed, you only need to look at the, at the sign, whether it's positive or negative. Since there is no upper bound and no lower bound for covariance, we need to take, we need to compute a different thing, which is, again, correlation. Be be because for correlation coefficient, there is an upper bound and there is a lower bound, which is plus one and minus one. That's important. That's very important. So the correlation coefficient, there is an upper bound of plus one. There is an upper bound of plus one. It can never be superior to plus one, strictly superior. And there is a lower bound of minus one, which is not true at all for the covariance. There are no bounds for covariance. So we cannot look at the number, we can just look at the sign. But here, with the correlation, we can look at the sign and we can look at the number. Which is covariance of plus 5 divided by product of two different standard deviations equals 0 0.945. And as you look at this, as you look at the maximum upper bound, which is plus 1, we have a very strong relationship, which we have a very, very strong relationship between share A and share B, which is true. As share A rises 1%, 2%, 6%, so does share B 2%, 4%, and 6%. And this is the relationship. The relationship between those two shares is very strict. There is a very strong relationship. And so, as we have a correlation strictly superior to zero since the standard deviations since the standard deviations written in the denominator are always um, strictly superior to zero so we cannot look at standard deviations being exactly zero we don't want to look at this but let us just look at um, standard deviations strictly superior to zero so denominator is always strictly superior to zero, which means the, the quotient is strictly superior to zero if and only if the numerator is strictly superior to zero and this is inferior to zero if and only if the numerator, the covariance is strictly inferior to zero. Which means this holds true if and only if, which is equivalent to covariance being strictly superior to zero, 
which is again equivalent to this. I always want to put it this way. Correlation superior to zero means this. If one thing rises, so does the other. And if one thing goes down, so does the other. If the correlation is superior, is strictly superior to zero, it is this way or it is that way. Very easy for you to keep in mind if you do it this way, this way or this way. Okay, <clears throat> the opposite holds true. If it is strictly inferior to zero, then it is this way. The one thing goes up and the other goes down, or if it goes down, the other goes up. This way or this way, if it is strictly inferior to zero. That's important for you to understand about correlation coefficient. Thank you for watching.